Today on Heart Hype, host Andre Scott talks with Miss Dallas Jaylene Looper, a passionate American Heart Association volunteer and nutrition security advocate. Jaylene also volunteers with the North Texas Food Bank and Feeding Texas and has personally raised over 125,000 meals throughout her years of community service. Recently, she testified at the Texas State Capitol to the House Agriculture and Livestock Committee about the issue of food deserts and the role SNAP benefits play in ensuring healthy families and a healthy food economy for all Texans. Let's meet Jaylene. Hello, everybody stopping by. My name is Andre Scott. This is going to be my first vlog with American Heart Association. And today I am ex I'm super excited to interview Jaylene Looper, a fellow AHA advocate. And today we're going to be talking about um, advocacy with the um, hunger crisis that's in Texas and the new SNAP incentives that are uh, bringing new uh, fresh produce to people who are in need. So, uh, Jaylene, um, how does it feel to be Miss Dallas? I know that's a huge accomplishment. Uh, uh, just basically tell us how, like, how you earned that title. So, as a title holder in the Miss America organization, I did have to compete at a local competition to win the title of Miss Dallas. I had to compete in a private interview, an on-stage question, I had to perform a talent, and I had to do an evening gown. And at my competition, I think it was nine other girls, and essentially the highest scorer wins the title. So, I was fortunate to have been the star of their eyes that day to win the title of Miss Dallas. And now I get to compete at Miss Texas in June, which I'm super excited about. We're about a month out from that. And well, fingers crossed, I win and I'm able to advocate for um, food insecurity, against food insecurity at the statewide level. That is amazing. Uh, by the way, do you have the Miss Dallas crown? Uh, I do. Uh, I put it on the side. I was like, maybe you'll ask me. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> Thank you. I recently figured out that uh, Jaylene would be, uh, she graduated from college actually this year. So uh, Jaylene, um, what did you major in and what college did you go to? I just graduated from the University of Texas Permian Basin or UTPB as some people refer to it. I graduated with my BA in communications with a minor in sociology. And I'm super excited to get into the social media marketing realm. That's what I got my degree for. And I also think it's a really great tool to help advocate for issues such as this one, um, being able to use social media and to connect with people that way. Right. Congratulations, by the way. But um, I, I remember that you mentioned something about the National uh, Cheerleaders Association and uh, as being an instructor as well as an AHA advocate. Um, what is like a memorable moment that you've had while like instructing others during the National Cheerleaders Association? So I remember one cheer camp, a camper came up to me and said, I have never seen a cheerleader with dreadlocks before, but I'm so glad that I have now. And that was just such an honor for me because I remember thinking, wow, we talk about representation all the time. It's like one of those buzzwords you hear all the time now. But in that moment, I really felt like, oh my gosh, me being here makes a difference. And I honestly hadn't seen a bunch of cheerleaders with dreadlocks before I started cheering either. Um, but now I'm here. And that's also something that happens frequently in the pageant system, so to speak. There's not a lot of girls. As a matter of fact, I'm the first girl in Texas to compete with my hair like this. And I am excited to hopefully win Miss Texas and be the first in Miss America history to do so as well. That's amazing. Definitely representing uh, Black culture and uh, braids. That's an amazing thing. But um, as a cheerleader and a successful Miss Dallas, what, 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 why like child nutrition? Like what, why is child nutrition important to you? So it's funny because I actually did a career day this morning and I told the story over and over and over, but it honestly never gets old. When I was a kid, I actually briefly dealt with food insecurity. My family lost one of their incomes and uh, we had to sometimes choose whether we were going to keep the lights on or if we were going to have food on the table and no one should have to decide that. So naturally, when I got older and had the opportunity to advocate against childhood hunger and just hunger in general, it was super natural for me. So I interned at a food bank where I learned a lot about what we can do to better serve 
those dealing with hunger. I became a SNAP sign of aid. Um, eventually I would partner with the North Texas Food Bank. And of course I partnered with the AHA and uh, it's just been one of my missions ever since to help those people who are dealing with food insecurity. That's amazing. Uh, the topic of food insecurity um, is very important and it affects you at like different ages such as childhood and to learn that um, you're passionate about food insecurity because it affected you as a child. That's very special to me and the American Heart Association. But well, um, actually, funny you say that. I hate to cut you off, but I think at your age is when I first realized that there was more I could do because I was ashamed to talk about what I had went through for a while. Uh, but I joined the poetry club at my school, literally, like I said, when I was your age, and we wrote a poem about hunger. And we actually got recognized for that poem for, from the North Texas Food Bank. We received the Chuck D. Lyrical Activist Award. And um, that's when I started realizing that sharing my story could empower others. So that's when I started advocating and just trying to be the loudest one um, talking about this issue. That's amazing. Um, food insecurity, like, as you said, is not really recognized around the world, but advocating and sharing your story is uh, very beneficial towards this matter and basically gives recogni uh, recognition towards this matter. But um, speaking of interning at the uh, North Texas Food Bank and raising meals during uh, your years of volunteering, uh, how long have you been volunteering for and like how many meals have you raised so far? I know it's a big number. Yes, I have been doing my work, I would say definitively starting in 2017. So it's been at least five years. And I have raised over 100,000 meals, which I am super proud of, especially because, like I said, as someone who dealt with food insecurity, I know that we need those resources. People need those resources. But I've also learned over the years that people don't just need the resources, but they need access to it. So um, connecting people with those resources is something I really try to do a lot of in my role as Miss Dallas. That's amazing. So through our advocacy with the American Heart Association and further uh, research into food and insecurity, we, fi we figured out that uh, the Texas legislature can do more against this uh, food insecurity. And uh, that's towards uh, funding the SNAP incentive program. So uh, Jaylene, um, why is the SNAP incentives beneficial to our population? Or so the double of bucks would essentially double the amount that people can use, especially when they're purchasing healthy items such as fruits, vegetables, which is so amazing. We want those people to be able to make healthier choices. And also whenever people spend with SNAP, it does circulate more economic um, spending. So that can help also bring in turn like more grocery stores to those areas. And it can do a lot of really positive things. And so in January, when um, our legislature is talking about um, laws they want to enact, if we can solidify the funding for this program, that would be amazing. And that would impact so many Texans. Right. Um, funding towards this uh, SNAP incentives and the double up uh, book uh, incentives will basically allow that um, funding towards the fruit. Uh, the, how can uh, our fellow Texans, what can they do to fight against this food insecurity that's uh, having a toll on our Texas population? Uh, like, how can they get involved in this issue? So there is a resource that the American Heart Association has. If you text veggies to 46839, you can get more information on how to join in on the fight against hunger and help um, advocate at the legislative level in this way. Wow, thank you, Jaylene. Uh, text veggies to 46839 in order to uh, get more involved in this issue with American Heart Association and start advocating. Thank you so much for wa watching my vlog and have a great day. Thank you for having me.